Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you back to Kagekaze's Domain to continue our playthrough with the Monk on Patch 14. Now, if you've been following any Diablo news site, then by now you've heard about the people that were able to get past the gate uh, in the cemetery and find the next couple of areas beyond King Leoric. Uh, now, unfortunately... Of course, by the time I've recorded this, it's already news. I haven't gotten my first video uh, encoded and public published on the YouTube yet, so you'll see that first. But uh, this is pretty much, uh, this recording is happening just after they closed off uh, those areas that people were accessing and reset everybody's waypoint. And regrettably, I was asleep at the time due to my work schedule and then at work. So I had no chance to be able to explore the new areas, to see the new monsters, and experience the new events. It really kind of saddens me. Um, and to be honest, I was kind of on the fence on whether or not I would do it if they didn't fix it by the time I got home. Uh, simply because while I really want to look at it, I want to explore it and see what we have in store and kind of report on it to you guys, which, you know, it's, since it is news, it is something that... Um, would be worth covering uh, but on the other side of the coin you know you're, you look at this and this is something that they obviously didn't intend they blocked the method to get beyond the gate and uh, at that point people just had the waypoints and were sharing it and that to me is well, you know that ventures onto the path of exploiting uh, not serious of course you know it's just in the beta so far um, but you usually want to be careful about that stuff. But I was thinking that I might at least cover it, and of course I wouldn't ex I wouldn't go over the methods how. But I thought about covering it, but unfortunately again I didn't get the chance. So I apologize for that. But if you really want to see anything, uh, I, as always I kind of promote uh, Diablo fans here on, the, on my channel, and uh, if you haven't been there, there is a link on my uh, on my channel. If you are watching this video um, by itself uh, there should be a note in the video description for Diablo fans if you're watching it from my channel homepage there is a link to Diablo fans on the right hand side uh, you should see it just below the link I have for the game facts stuff I contributed uh, years ago uh, so go there go to Diablo, fan, uh, Diablo fans and you will see on the news page uh, all the updates uh, videos pictures of these new areas and honestly I'm gonna say what I've watched has really invigorated me even further about uh, wanting to get this game new mobs out there uh, I saw a couple new enchanted types a uh, jailer mob type which would lock you in place for a couple of seconds which is obviously not very good for range classes wanting to get away or even melee classes if they get surrounded uh, then there was another type called a Waller. I had not heard of this type before. Uh, surprised me when I saw the video of it. It's a monster that basically creates walls around you, like walls of rock will come out of the ground and surround you and make it difficult for you to escape. Uh, it's not complete coverage. From what I saw, the wall pretty much goes around uh, either just behind you or there's two walls in front and behind you, but you can escape from the sides. Uh, so it's uh, not a perfect defense, but when you think about higher difficulties, usually monsters gain more than one magical property. You combine that Waller type um, with other types, and uh, you're probably looking at uh, some serious trouble for people. Uh, seriously amazed. Uh, the new areas look great. There's new events. And a lot of the dungeons were unavailable. Just kind of going past here to use my cone to my advantage there. All right. Honestly, I can't do it justice because I I wasn't there, and I'm going to tell you all to to go to Diablo fans. There's a post in the general forum. There's a post on the main page, and it is all looking great. Uh, of course, keep in mind spoilers abound here. If you really don't want to know what's up ahead beyond this point. Uh, just be careful, because uh, there's going to be a lot of people talking about it. Of I don't have 
All right, so now that I've got that out there, and again, I want to apologize because I, I usually like trying to get you guys fresh content. Most of the stuff you're going to see out there are just videos. Um, some might have commentary, but I usually like to go over them and talk about the potential there, but uh, I didn't get that chance. Okay, I got level 10, and so of course level 10 is the passive level. Not the greatest of levels, but hey. Uh, they move things around here. Guardian's Path and Resolve, I believe, were the two that you would get to begin with, and Fleet Footed was later. Um, and they've moved it to... Uh, it looks like Transcendence we don't get anymore. It looks like we're only going to get three. I believe we got four before. All right, Fleet Footed is the 10% movement increase, and Resolve is the damage you deal reduces enemies' damage by 25%. Um... In this case, honestly, I have to admit, I feel like I'm taking less damage with my Monk than I was with my Barbarian, so I'm going to go to Fleet Footed again to kind of increase my speed. Hopefully make this a little quicker. Uh, and, and that's kind of been... Uh, I've, I felt that's a little strange. My Barbarians took a, lot of, uh, took a lot of damage as I was playing through them on patch 14 here. And... Uh, I have a feeling that part of that is because of the dexterity, and I'll go here real quick, you'll notice my dex is my highest stat, and uh, my dodge is about 3.8, not a high dodge percent chance, but I also have the net, that innate 30% damage reduction that the Barbarian also gets. Um, so what could be happening is I could just be having a higher dodge chance, or it could just be because of my movement abilities, I do move around a little more. I control the flow of combat a little more as a monk. Uh, looks like I've lagged out of Battle.net. How unfortunate. All right, I will bring that back before I continue this conversation here. All right, I apologize for that. Uh, I got this connected, and it looks like it's uh, kind of giving me a whole new level to explore. Um, as I was saying, I kind of utilize my movement abilities as much as I can. Not only that, but I have some really nice AoE abilities at, at this point as a monk that I've been able to kind of tear through a lot of these monsters. Of course, I am uh, I'm getting to the point where I would start to have difficulty as the Barbarian. The early part is not really an issue, especially with the, the fact that I have armor. Uh, even though they all have experience on them, they do add to my armor and thus my damage reduction. But using Dashing Strike, I'm usually able to chase down the enemies that would be a, tr a problem at a distance. And using Tempest Rush, I'm usually able to blitz through a group or into the middle of them and tear a bunch of them apart and then quickly escape. So it could be a combination of these factors that have uh, made me seem like I'm not taking as much damage. The Barbarian being focused on strength, he's not going to be dodging attacks as much. He's going to be taking them, but taking less damage because strength increases armor. Oh, that didn't generate a lot of skeletons, did it? Okay, let me just make sure. Apparently it disconnected me right around when I chose my passive, so let's try it again, fleet-footed. Okay, just... That blow was so massive, it slowed down my frame rate. That is the awesome power of a monk, folks. And uh, there, I, 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 someone pointed this out on one of my videos, the trident sometimes fires off four. Uh, and I noticed it just there. I didn't notice it on the on the playthrough. I think I just saw it again there. And it's kind of strange because the the one in the center will sometimes splinter off into two. And uh, I'm wondering if that's just the art, the way it, it displays, or if it really does have an increased area of effect. Either way, it looks cool. Alright, so we're going to explore with my improved movement speed. 10% obviously not a huge buff to movement speed, but just enough to help with the exploration and to allow me to quickly close the gap on monsters if I need to, or get away. Um, and that really seems... Again, I keep talking about the flow of combat, and that really is what this classic sells at. You want to get in, you want to get out, you want to do whatever you want, and you will have the tools to do so. 
I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my life. I will lay him to rest in his burial chamber. He manifested as a hideous skeleton. Gorash and my other knights were overcome by him, but I fought hard. So because you spend a lot of time using your spirit generators, I am glad to see that they decided to buff them a little bit. Uh, it's only a minor amount from 100 to 110, uh, but every little bit of the damage is going to help. Especially when your spirit generators start to get expensive. Or your spirit spenders, my apologies. They get expensive and then you're going to uh, want these attacks to be doing a decent amount of damage. Where'd you all come from? Well, at least you get a nice good look at the uh, thorns effect. The way you see, kind of see daggers appear above their heads and uh, hit them. That's the uh, thorns effect in war at, at play there. Um, at full speed, without these uh, slowdowns here, you kind of uh, you get to see a quick glimpse of it. But this time, you can actually see it since it's uh, the frames are slow enough. You get an idea of what it really looks like. Normally, I would uh, dislike having uh, such slow frame rate, but since it let me see something interesting, I suppose I can forgive it. Again, it uh, doesn't look like they've fully optimized things. So until we do, there, there'll be some minor hiccups like this. See, one other benefit I have here as well is with Deadly Reach, I may not be a ranged caster, but I can kind of kite a little bit. I have just enough range to be able to do that. And now I wander, cursed by my once beloved king. Evil not at my bones, and I cannot risk putting my beloved system in danger should I fail to contain that which tears at me. I must venture down into the labyrinth to die alone. Maintain your incantation. You will soon return. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I must destroy the Skeleton King. Then our aims align. I thought I heard some monsters hanging around up here. Maybe they're on the other side. Let's go look. Here we are. What I kind of want to do at this point, I'm going to put on the uh, resolve here. And I want to see if it puts any kind of effect on the enemy that is visible. So if I could see it in a party. 
since the effect isn't just a straight uh, damage reduction to myself, it's the every hit I do to an enemy, well not every hit, it only stacks once, but when I hit an enemy I reduce their damage by a certain percentage, and I got this connected again, and what's interesting is that twice that's happened when I played around with my passives. I wonder if there's an issue there, and unfortunately that happened just before I could get to my waypoint. Let me see if I can get lucky and activate it or something. Of course, it's down this way. No. Nope. And unfortunately... I cannot exit and leave here. Alright. Let me try and fix it yet again. Hopefully it will just let me come back here. Okay, I appear to be back at the beginning of level 3. No big deal. But as you can see, my uh, passive didn't kick over, which is what's leading me to believe that that was part of the problem. It seems that there might be a bug, possibly with the monk, maybe with other characters I don't know. As the barbarian, I didn't change my passives around a lot. I'm going to try putting on resolve again hit accept and what I really need to do is I'm gonna have to check the official form to see if I can't find uh, something mentioning this and let's see when that goes off cooldown is when I think it might hit actually it would probably be when I put it on there since it disconnected for alright looks like we're good to go I'm not gonna mess with my pass as much more So I'm not seeing any kind of effect. Damage you deal reduces enemy damage by 25% for two and a half seconds. I was kind of hoping there would be an indicator on the monster. See, there's no uh, aura or anything like that. I suppose you don't need an aura, but uh, you know, because you should be all, you know, pretty much attacking close to the same targets, and uh, most targets uh, will either die fast, or if they're big targets, you're all going to be hitting that one anyway. But I, I could, it would be kind of nice to know if you know you've got a couple really hard-hitting targets, if one or two of them have been uh, debuffed, as it were. Skeleton King, you speak, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt alone. Agreed. Let us fight together. So when I'm doing my vulture claw kick, I half uh, feel like I should be hearing uh, Rue from Street Fighter announcing his hurricane kick. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I just said a boot. the bridge. Templar Jondar, how could you succumb to this 
Try and slow him down with Tempest Rush. That's really all I'm using that for at that point. Of course, I got to hit him quite a few times there. I'm kind of noticing they cleared the clutter out of here. At least every time I've come to beat the uh, Jandar, there hasn't been as many barrels as there used to be. Spirit generation, nice. Alright, Templar. More than happy to have you with me. Go ahead and be my healer again. And go ahead and take this arcane. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. So I do like the way he can combo things together. I gotta tell you, um, the Barbarian was rather... How do I put it? I had fun with him, but there wasn't a lot for the Barbarian to do for me until levels 11 to 13. I get Seismic Slam, and then I get um, Revenge, and those turned out to be my favorites. And so far, the Monk here, um, a lot of the skills that I really like have been given to me already. Although, Lash, the, a surprise winner for me is Lash Tail Kick here. Getting that Vulture Claw Kick, the way it changes it, instead of being a frontal comb, being a 360 attack arc. You know, it... All of a sudden, it's actually dramatically changed the way my attack works. Yes, it's a pure damage increase, but it also affects the uh, area at which I hit things, so... It, it's really found a use in my rotation here, as I can u just use it as effectively with my other controls. Uh, so, I feel like I've got a bit more control over things here with the Monk over when I was the Barbarian, which I didn't really feel until I got Slam and... Uh, and revenge. Those are just really fun abilities, to be honest with you. You, as a barbarian, you start to really feel powerful and brutal at that point. And I'm wondering what I'll feel like at level 13 with the monk. Uh, I'm especially looking forward to the new spender we get. Uh, which level is at 12? Unfortunately, so it won't be for my fight against the skeleton king. The wave of light looks interesting. They didn't give you really too many just pure damage dealers in the last... Or it, it's, at least it didn't feel like I got a lot of just raw damage dealers in the last patch for the monk. So it's kind of nice to see that I will get to play around with something like that. And it... Honestly, looking at some of the footage of it, it looks like it plays akin to Seismic Slam. You know, just without the knockback. Uh, so I probably will like it. You guys remember the bonus rounds in Street Fighter 2 where you had to beat up a car and then one of them you had to beat up a bunch of barrels? Yeah, it's like that. Belly bloat scarred. Oh! Hold on, let's see how much damage this does. Hmm. Didn't last long enough, really.
blocked that while I was behind him. That's not fair. I call shenanigans. Shenanigans! I'm glad I have him healing me. But it wasn't really a, a lot, obviously. You can tell which is good. I, you don't want it to be overpowered. Uh, it's enough to keep me alive, but not enough to just instantly heal me up to full. I'm actually kind of surprised to see he's uh, rather low on health too. See, now I'm starting to feel the starting to feel the damage a little more, but not uh, so much that I'm worried about it. Oops! I ran out of spirit. Got myself kind of in a bad position there. I'm hoping there's decent spirit uh, regeneration gear later on. Uh, when they went through the last patch, they did buff a lot of the spirit generation stuff, so hopefully that'll make uh, getting resources a little easier. At least I don't lose it like the Barbarian. to count how many we've killed but I've lost track oh I found my exit prematurely but I hear that happens to a lot of guys but a bump <sighs> they can't all be gems people really Begin with the grays. And when can I wear this exactly? 11. Next level. <laughs> you guys made a terrible mistake trying to surround me. He fought the wall and the wall won. Yeah, I went there. Hello. Ooh. I don't think that hit, even though I saw the animation go off. I don't know how I hit it, but I'm glad I hit it. So feeling a little silly tonight, I suppose. But hey, at least I'm enjoying it, right? Like I said, there's been kind of a renewed vigor here, uh, watching those streams, watching the content that's out there, and people are having a hard time of it when they were out there. The damage apparently was really high on some of the monsters they were fighting. Now keep in mind, of course, they were in higher level areas. Of course, some of these people were level 13 in areas where they probably should roughly be 13. Uh, maybe a little, they should probably be a little higher. So hard to say if that's an indication of difficulty going forward, but it definitely looked like uh, the new areas and new mobs with uh, new properties on them is not going to be just a pushover, which is I, what I was honestly very happy to see. I had already always assumed that, that was going to be the case, even before they buffed the uh, monster damage in this patch. Nice to see that it seems to be true. <laughs> 